Okay, what's going on guys? Midnight Club Gamer here, and this is the Gran Turismo GT steering wheel that I was going to give a review on. Um, I've played with this for a couple days now, and it's pretty good. Um, obviously, you got your you got R2, L2, which I don't really know what's for. And you got your start and select button. Pretty much it's like a PS3 controller set up. And then the wheel, which is cool. So you don't have to use your controller to like actually open the, uh, get the PS3 on. Um, but as for like force feedback, it's a really good wheel. Um, some people complain that it's too loud. And I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, you can hear it a little bit. But it's like not, it's not bad. I mean, if you have like HD headphones on, you can't hear it at all. But if you have just like TV speaker on, you can hear it turning a little bit. But it's not like crazy. Like, like that's as pretty much as loud as it's going to get. Um, I don't even know if you could hear that. You probably could. Um, but if we just go into the game here, you probably can't t see the TV. But um, you can uh, you can change a whole lot of stuff from in there. You got your traction or whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Four wheel, what the heck is that? Four GT isn't even four wheel drive, so I can't really do that. On off, what is that? ASM, I don't even know what that means. ABS, I don't even have ABS, what the heck? But yeah, you can change all that with that. Um, either that, start, and then select, and stuff like that. And to uh, drive, you got your pedals on the bottom, and you got your pedals down here. It's just got just gas and brake. Um, the pedals are good. Let's see, they have pretty good clearance. Um, they are plastic, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, they're pretty good, high quality plastic. And as for the material on the wheel, it's uh, it's kind of like a plastic material, but it kind of feels like uh, leather. Really, it feels like leather, man. If you felt it. Um, and so. For shifting, you got your uh, sequential shifter, which is not bad. It doesn't have much clearance, but you just you just tap it tap it back to shift up, tap it forward to shift down. So go in reverse, you press triangle. That's just GT for you. Um, and you also have paddle shifters in the back here, right here. To shift, it's not shifting though. No. Shift up. That's on the right hand side to shift down. It's on the left. The paddle shifters aren't great. They're just like pretty much just like buttons on your. Uh, PS3 controller, but uh, they're fine, I guess, if you do want to paddle shift, if you want to use the F1. And uh, either than that, uh, steering wheel is really nice. It uh, worked right when I set it up, and and uh, yeah, so good quality. I actually got it for 50 bucks off some random store off in Canada. And uh, yeah, so I guess that'll be a review. Um, the rating out of town I'd give this wheel would probably be. Ooh, 9, 9.5 just because the force feedback's great, um, obviously because it's made for GT. Um, the paddle shifters aren't great, they're not real paddle shifters. And a sequential shifter could have a little bit more clearance, it's just pretty much just a click down, so you can't really move it much. Um, and the pedals are fine for me right now, so uh, that'll be wow, hardcore voice crack, but that'll be a review for me, guys. And there's gonna be a video after this of me. Racing with the wheel, and you can actually see some in game gameplay. So, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you want to pick up this wheel, go ahead, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers, talk soon.